All right, guys, like I promised, I am going to do my most wanted on the buses and collected editions. Here we go. So this month, July, we're already halfway done with the year. What a year. Superior Spider-Man, I'm going to sell my soul to get that one because I know the hardcovers were hard to get and I'm glad that we're finally getting this run. I've always wanted to read it. I only read the first issue and I gave it to my buddy. Never give back. I even gave him the 700 issue. Mm. Anyways, a, rice, a righteous thirst for vengeance. I don't know, that doesn't really sound like type of Rick Remender's like wheelhouse, but that sounds interesting. And I heard the first volume was absolutely fire. So that's the one I'm gonna get next. Next on the list, I have the Green Lantern Core. Yeah, I have the Green Lanterns right here, but I mean, Green Lantern Core, Tomasi, come on. Come on now, like, I gotta get that one. That one's, that one's for sure buy for me. The next ones are gonna be Conan. Conan the Barbarian and Savage Sword of Conan. Yeah, I have the other ones, but I really want the first ones mainly because they're a little pricey, but I missed out on the Marvel ones and I really, really, really want to read this one. I love Conan. I love that type of story. Just Robert E. Howard, all that stuff. And shout out to Gore Vidal. He's the one who got me into Conan like more. He pushed me into more Conan. I appreciate him. If you're watching, thank you, bro. Or sir. Next, Fear Agent. Fear Agent is coming back. Image is, I guess he got the rice back. Rick Remender got the rice back for Fear Agent, and now we're gonna see them coming out soon. I cannot wait. Fear Agent is the one I really, really want. I have plenty of shelf space now. I know where they're gonna go. Next up, because Cody collects from Color Break Podcast, which I definitely recommend. Those guys are awesome. There's, if you're watching this, Cody, dude, eight billion genies. Okay, I'm sold. I'm gonna get it. It's happening. Also, one more thing. The question, volume two, I'm super excited. I'm gonna read them back to back when I get them. I mean, come on guys. The question, Dennis O'Neill, how can you not love it? Next one, I know it's not an omnibus or collect or like hardcover, but the Venom Rick Remender is getting a epic collection. If we're not gonna get the, the omnibus, I'll get this. I'll settle with this. I don't have, all I have is, let me look, is a Savage Six and I know that ain't enough. That ain't enough. Like I need the whole set. I because look online and you'll see how much the sets are, the complete collections. I'm not paying eighty to a hundred dollars for that. I'm not. Next up, I'm gonna have Gotham City Year One. I heard nothing but good things about this series. Tom King supposedly wrote one of his best stories, Batman stories in a while. Ultimate Spider-Man Three. I have the first two over here. I don't know if you can see them. I'm gonna get the third one. I might get that Moon Knight one. That one looks really really dope or maybe the carnage one but i already have the carnage so i was like moon Knight. ultimate moon Knight. let's see let's see all right next one is gonna be green or right, swamp thing green hell i've heard great things about it i heard it got delayed a few that's why sometimes better wait for the trade not always because sometimes the they really need to know if people are gonna continue wanting to read the series when people should stop hashtag spider-man amazing spider-man i heard great things about it i am super excited again color break podcast i'll put the links below so you can know they're the ones that were hyping it up so i am there cody collects that guy he's the guy so next up i'm gonna have thor volume 2 by jason aaron i have the hardcovers I haven't read them yet. I've read the first half of, I read the God Bomb and the God Butcher story. I want to read the rest because I heard the Jane Foster stuff is like some of his best work. I wonder if I should sell those to get that one. I'm going to do like a big, uh, whenever I hit my goals, I'm going to give a lot of stuff away. I'm wondering if I should keep that or sell it. But anyways, next one is going to be Shazam Power of Hope. This one. A lot of you don't know about it, but this one I'm really hyped for is Alex Ross as the, as the artist. And guess what, Paul Dini, can't go wrong with that. I mean, this one's been out of print for a long time. I've been looking for it and hunting for it. It's finally here, might as well just get the hard cover. The, I wanna say it's hard, over, hard, oversized card cover. Yeah, I'm super excited about that one. I might get the Daredevil Yellow Edition. I have it the trade, but the Gallery Edition, I mean, I have this baby right here. 
Uh, next up, I'm gonna have Nice House on the Lake. I'm gonna finish this series because I gotta reread everything because it's been a while and I kind of laid it back. I heard nothing but great things with the way it started and ended. Next up is gonna be Amazing Spider-Man Volume 4. This is the one with Gwen Stacy died. They're putting it back in the print. I've always wanted to read this one, especially in print. I just, I don't know, it's just, the artwork back then, like you kind of, I kind of miss it. You know, I grew up with that stuff. Like I, I, that's how I read, read comics back in the day. I would just read old, old issues that they do reprints of. And I thought I was like, oh my gosh, like, this can be worth something. When I found out it was just a dollar or less. Anyways, Super Sons is getting another on the bus. Yes, I don't have to get, I don't, man, I'm glad I don't have to get uh, the other ones. Or maybe I could uh, buy the other one from somebody else, but Super Sons is getting a reprint. I'm really excited. So those are the ones I'm waiting for for the rest of the year. That's, I think, and another thing too, I think I might uh, push out my single issues. I think I'm gonna stop just cause I wanna start saving a little more extra money and I feel like uh, Omni's are the place I wanna go. I mean, this, I mean, you see, look behind me. That's my preferred collection. Plus uh, if I have these and I have the single issues, but anyways, recommendation time. These are the ones I don't have, but I really recommend. Daredevil, Mark Wade is coming back in a print. I really recommend that for anyone. Well. Some people are pissed off about it. I'm not. Supposedly this is where they're gonna pull some of the Daredevil show back. Maybe that's why they're reprinting it. I wouldn't say it's not dark because it deals with a lot of like uh, depression and stuff like that. It's real, it's really deep stuff. I'm not gonna lie. Um, has a great issue with them in the snow. I think I want an Eisner for that. Next one up, I have Hellboy Omnibus. I have this one right here. I have all of them, but I mean, the whole thing, that's tempting. That's tempting, I must, but I love the way my library editions look. Next up is Hawkeye Omnibus. I really recommend that one for anybody who's interested in Hawkeye. That one is way deeper than the show. Honestly, I was very, the show's very mediocre compared to the show. I mean, compared to the comic, the comic is a lot more deeper. I really recommend it. Next one up is Immortal Hulk. I'll probably post the video on my YouTube about Immortal Hulk after this. That one seems to be doing good everywhere. But yeah, Immortal Hulk, if you haven't read it, by Al Ewing. Al Ewing can't do no more. Still praises Guardians Run. That stuff, uh, Mortal Hulk is great. I might rebuy one of the Lazarus ones and sell my Lazarus. Great, great story. You're the collector if you're watching. It's coming out. Just saying, get it. Get it. It's uh it's by Greg Rucka. You can't go wrong with Greg Rucka. And after that, the Marvel Zombies Reborn, the resurrection one is on there. I'm kind of tempted just to buy for that, but I will cover that series in October when I do my my videos for October. So be on the lookout for that. Wonder Woman New 52 on the bus is coming back into print, guys. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Hey, let's, let's, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. All right. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Wait. That one you have to read. Phase away from what you know, because it's kind of like, they did their own thing in that one, but it's actually pretty good. I do recommend that on the bus. But uh, that's it guys, I will see y'all soon, very soon. You're gonna see me with the same shirt for the next few videos. But yeah guys, I hope y'all are doing good. I will put links down below for these guys, for the podcast and for Cody Collects. Really recommend these guys, these guys are great. I will see y'all later, deuces.